Hello, welcome back to another Silver Age Spotlight. Now that we have seen FF1 and FF2, why not do FF3? And here's my copy, low grade, presentable. <laughs> I love the fact that at some point this book was half price. Half price at six cents. <laughs> Woo! I enjoyed this cover. I think this is a great cover. Really nice looking. Nice drawing by Jack. Now, the book was ink, the cover and the interior was ink by Saul Broski, but for some reason he was not credited right there. I wonder why. As you can see, decent looking interior, right? It's low grade, but you can see, yes, it's yellow, but it's not heavily tan. And the quality of the art on, in this issue much like in issue two even though issue two was inked by somebody different okay um, the name escaped my mind but it's not inked by Saul Broski but regardless I like the inking here is clean is thick line it's clear look at that solid okay solid you know, in those early days of the FF, you can see it still have that touch of golden age coloring where the background can be multiple colors that doesn't match, that doesn't make any sense, but it doesn't matter. It adds the vibrant uh, look to the page. As you can see right there, you know, blue, yellow. But what do you think? What do you think about the artwork here in this issue compared to issue one? Of course, this issue without me saying much is the intro of the uniform or the costume of the FF, right? Oh, look, they went back to the monster. <laughs> Nice looking, clean female face of Invisible Girl. Check that out. There you go. Mr. FF himself. Mr. Fantastic. The other thing that's cool about this issue is the letter page. Okay, wait until you get to the letter page. It's the first time, of course, the letter page appear in this title, which is fairly quick, you know, from issue one and now we're in issue three a few months later. P fan page, well, fan letters has already flooded in. And wait until you see the letter page. Not everything. Not everything's work praises, okay? Not everything. Which surprises me, you know. I thought for sure, you know, this would have been like a rip-roaring fan page of letters of people showering love. But that's not the case. There was plenty, but there are certainly some criticism. That's a great look right there, okay? That's a great look right here. Look at that. See, I'm always a fan of Mr. Mr. Fantastic, or, you know, with the skinnier look. Always have been, compared to his beefier, muscular look. And look at the thing right there. Yeah. Every time I see a, a Silver Age um, Fantastic Four, especially the early issue, I had to remind myself, I got to do a poll on which version of the thing people like. I keep saying that. I keep talking about it. I keep forgetting to do it. For sure, this look is in my top five, okay? I love this look.
There you go. Here we go. Fan page. Okay, so there's some praises here. Look at this one. The cover of number one was pretty poor. I disagree. I think it's a good looking cover. Compared to many of Kirby monster cover. Come on, right? But like I said, hey, we're all entitled to our own opinion. Look at this person love it. He read it 50 times. Disappointed. And then this one. Is this Saul Brosky, the person that ink this book? Tell me if it, it is, okay? Because I, I wasn't sure because it seemed like he saw issue one, he read it, he sent in the letter, and then he got the job to ink because Saul Brosky has been around a long time. You know, he worked at Atlas before they become Marvel. He did a lot of penciling, but I, I think this is the same person. He must have seen issue one, call up somebody at Marvel, and got the job to ink this issue. But let me know if that's the case. Okay, look at that. So let me know if that's the same person. It's with those early issue of FF. You get the chapters, okay? The four chapters. The art is solid here, okay? No complaint from me at all. You know, compared to issue one, Every time I flip through issue 2 and 3, I'm just like, it's solid. Of course, you know me, I'm still searching for issue 4. So I can't say what's going on with issue 4 yet, until I have it, but for now. And that's the end, folks. That's the end. Thanks for watching. Until the next video. Bye-bye.